150. That's the number of garment factories in Bangladesh that have been shut indefinitely. And this follows a wave of violent protesters demanding a higher minimum wage, with over 11,000 workers now facing charges in connection with this unrest. These factories, which are integral to the nation's economy, account for approximately 85% of Bangladesh's annual exports, supplying global brands like Levi's, Zara and H&M. The root cause of this upheaval lies in the grim conditions faced by the 4 million workers in the garment sector, predominantly women. Until recently, their monthly pay began at a meagre 8,300 taka, that is $75, despite a recent 56.25 increase in the sector's wage. Raising it to 12,500 taka, workers have rejected this hike. Their demand now stands at a minimum of 23,000 taka, triggering a series of violent protests resulting in three deaths and the ransacking of over 70 factories. As Bangladesh's working week begins amidst this unrest, the situation poses a significant challenge for Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The government's appointed panel's attempt to address the wage issue seems to have fallen short, leaving the industry at a standstill. With 150 factories closed, there's a palpable economic impact not only for the nation but for the global supply chain as well as Bangladesh's garment sector plays a pivotal role in international trade. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.